Hello everyone, it's Maha. I'm back again today with the Winged Enchantment Oracle deck. And today I'm here to do a review of it for you. I was asked by one of my viewers to do a review and I'm really happy to do it because I love this deck so, so much. It is gorgeous and it's such a joy to work with. I'm really happy to share it with you. So let's go ahead. This is the box that it comes in. Winged Enchantment Oracle deck, illustrated by lovely Lisa Hunt and written by Leslie Morrison. The back of the box. And as you can see, it's a fairly thin box. It's just the size of, the width is the size of my thumb. And um, it's thin, but it's made well. I have to say that I really like the uh, design and the packaging of this deck. It's compact, yet sturdy and good quality, and just really nice. Um, so, oh, it's by US Games Systems. And you know, when I first got this box in the mail, I was disappointed because I thought, oh no, it doesn't come with a guidebook. Because it was so thin, I didn't think there was anything in it, except maybe just a few pages of the little white book. But, in fact, not only does it come with a guidebook, but it comes with a really nice one. So, it's fairly thin, very compact, like I said. And, and that's because the pages are very thin. It, the pages are pretty much like a little white book that we get. But the cover is quite nice and thick. And it's beautifully illustrated by Lisa Hunt. It's actually one of the cards. The back is nice, very nice. It's the kind of a um, dreamcatcherish design, and it's really golden, like it glows. And the um, back is a deep purple, covered by these feathers. Very nice, and it's reminiscent to the back of the cards. Very similar design, but less complicated. The book starts with a short intro, card meanings, first page, and nice illustration. And then you've got one page for each card, and um, the image of the card is this horizontal close up of the card, then a bird's message for you, and an affirmation on the bottom. Nice long paragraph, too. I'm going to read you a couple of these as examples when I show you the cards more close up. There are 39 cards in this deck. A few pages at the back are dedicated to spreads. Basic spread here and then three other spreads. The last one is a long, it's a big one. It's called the bird in flight spread. It looks really cool. Can't wait to try it. So that's very nice. Then uh, right. I'm just going to compare one of um, Colette Baron Reed's cards. It's the Wisdom of the Hidden Realm. I picked that one because it's just a standard Oracle deck size. So as you can see, it is the same width as Winged Enchantment. Just about an inch bigger the Winged Enchantment cards are. And these are glossy, but uh, Lisa Hunt and Leslie's are not. Not glossy at all. Thickness is a little bit thinner than this other card. A little bit thinner, but you know, I like I like that. It's just perfect. It's not thin at all. So, really nice and thick quality. I like the fact that they kept the width the same as the standard Oracle deck because I like to hold it in my hand. I have small hands, and it doesn't slip or you know, it's really nice for shuffling. I yeah, I think that that part of it is really really great. So. Let's go ahead and look at the cards more closely. So here we are back with the cards. The first card in the deck is just a short intro of the artwork of the Winged Enchantment and Lisa Hunt's work with this deck. I always like to show the cards at a closer angle and then the box from a further angle so you could um, get an idea of the sizes. Do I need to read the bottom? This one's Woodpecker. 
her artwork in this deck is truly enchanting and the name I think is a very suitable title. The artwork is just really really extraordinary I mean um, Peacock look at this. This is the first time I've seen uh, throughout her uh, throughout Lisa's work that the detail and the intricacy and her meticulousness is mixed with this kind of really expressive style. I think she's really developed and grown in her artwork and you can truly see it in this new body of work in my opinion. Kingfisher. Raven. So if you look up here in the background in the sky you can, I can really see that it's a watercolor blended. It's very free. She's allowed herself to be more expressive with the medium. That's really nice to see, looking at it from an artistic point of view. And I love the shape shifting that's going on in all the decks and all the cards of the deck. Eagle. Not all the cards are the same color scheme. Some of them are much more vibrant and some of them are more down to earth. Falcon, you could hear the sky again. So you really see that kind of thing happening. I haven't found that in her other decks. I mean, I own two of her decks, but I've seen, I've studied her work because I tr I'm a big fan of hers. Crow. There is so much going on in these cards. You know, there is a a lot of story within each card. You can truly get into each image and I, that's why I think it's really great for meditation. Blackbird. Crane. Yeah, so this one, see, it's very soft. Down in the, it's down in the hues color scheme. This one is more earthy seagull. So much expression, so much movement. And the birds are all about movement. And each bird is just so different in its own way. Hummingbird. I love this one. So many flowers and such beauty. She's really captured the beauty of each bird. Ostrich. The beauty from inside and out, I want to say. This is the one that's on the cover. Swallow. So elegant. So, so beautiful. Finch. Incredible. See the lightness of this and how it's um, so into nature. Wren. Goes, she goes deep into nature. There's that feeling of as the aspect of the goddess. There is that human quality mixed with um, shape shifting, the bird. So, goose. Oh, this one I love. I love all of them, you know. There's not. Oh, I'm going to take these off. Swan. Look at that. It's just. Yeah, this one, for example, the swan is really. Um, she's explored the color scheme of water and lakes. Like, it reminds me of that. I hope you can see it. I know there's a little bit of reflection. I'm just going to leave them from this angle. I think this is the best that I found. Rooster, wow. Robin. Turkey. Hmm. 
magpie. So much atmosphere going on here. Just the space, the dimensions, and how much work she's put into each work, each piece. It's really, she really deserves a big hand for the set. Bluebird. I love this one too. I love all of them. They, these cars make me happy. They make me smile. They make me appreciate the beauty of nature, the beauty of life. That's my um, parrot also agreeing in the background. Right, Chiki? Heron, again, that. Um, it's just it's a great use of space. She's really achieved that here in these cards, in each card. My eye just moves around, and all the details, nothing is missed. You know, this is this is what I think is really great about this deck, that she's allowed herself to really spend time in each part of the image. Pelican. Rouse. This is one that I, this is one bird I don't usually see. Ponder. My parrot is not leaving me alone. Parrot, speaking of parrot, this one is nice. The colors are so different. You can, you can pair these two cards, for example. Such a difference in color, eh? Mockingbirds. Dove. Excellent. Oh, wow. So beautiful. Waxing. Starling. This one definitely reminds me of one of the shapeshifter tarot cards. Hawk. So gorgeous. Owl. One of my favorites. I still have yet to spend time contemplating with these cards. The last one, they were not in order, as you can tell. Uh, Lark. And I haven't forgotten to read um, from the guidebook here for you. So let's see. Okay, so Lark. I am Lark, the endearing song of the soul. I am voice. I am the wandering bard. I am everything that resonates through sound. I will teach you to use your words and how to make them magic. I will give you a purpose for everything you utter. I will give you a clear intent for every expression you release. Everything you say permeates the cosmos. I am the chant that awakens. I am the mantra that focuses thought. I am the love ballad and the victory song. song. I am here to free your voice and show you how to direct it toward your destiny. You have kept quiet too long. It's time to awaken your senses. Speak with clarity and intent. Express with depth and purpose. Pay close attention as your words reverberate around you. You are in tune. Okay, so that was the paragraph. And now you have the affirmation, which goes, you are in tune with the cosmos. You are manifestation. You are harmony. You are lark. So this is how it's written. It's written in the, in the first person tense. And I like how they use I am. I, they use I am in all of them. So for example, I'm going to just read another one. In, for loon, it starts again. It starts I am with all the birds. So I am... Oh. 
I am Loon, the keeper of dreams and master of wishes. I am the place where poets wander. I am the world the great visionaries traverse. I am the lonely woods that beckon the mystic. I am where the madman get lost and where the medicine men dream. To enter my waters you have gone searching for a new reality. Your dreams have inspired you. Your fantasies have lured you in. Through the flow of wishes and hope, in, though the flow of wishes and hopes intoxicate and stimulate, sometimes they hold you hostage. I will let you envision new worlds, but you cannot linger long. From here, you must recognize your own part in your life story. I am the enticement of shadows. Step inside my deep lakes and pull from it the endings you dream of. That's the paragraph. And then the affirmation goes, you are playing with possibility. You are exploring the land of dreams. You are fantasy. You are loon. Isn't that beautifully written? I think it's so poetic and it really gets, um, it makes me think that it resonates really well with this, with the cards and with this deck in general. All right, so I think now I've given you a pretty good idea about this deck. And again, once you hold a deck in your hand and you go through the cards yourself, it's very different from watching them on any video camera. The colors are never the same. The feeling, of course, is never the same. And um, this is one of my favorite Oracle decks, and I have lots of them. And yeah, give it a try. I hope I see you guys soon. Take care. Have a wonderful day or evening. Ciao. Blessed be.